welcome to the course big data analytics in our earlier lectures we discussed about what is big data introduction to big data big data applications futures use case studies then uh, big data technologies one of the technology hadoop technology so in hadoop mainly we discussed about uh, hadoop distributed file system hdfs various commands uh, related to hdfs then uh, map reduce uh, programming in map reduce uh, using python java various concepts we covered later as part of no sql we discussed about mongo db now our uh, next concept related to our big data analytics pig that is going to be explained by professor k gangadhar rao sir yeah welcome you all so today i am going to discuss uh, the basics of pig introduction to the pig and uh, so installation of the pig in the hadoop missions so basically if you look at uh, the pig technology so pig is a platform for analyzing large data sets so that consists of high level language for expressing data analysis programs coupled with uh, infrastructure for evaluating these programs this means uh, it's a basically uh, it's another at another platform to analyze the large data sets uh, which is of Uh, having the nature like uh, high level language only it means um, uh, it's like uh, java programming or python or any other like you can write this uh, pig programming so in fact uh, this pig is uh, a kind of a query language um, so you can write your queries uh, to analyze this uh, large data sets and uh, so other thing that is required to analyze the large data set trees so you need the infrastructure it must be the technology must be coupled with the infrastructure it means you need to install your hadoop before executing your uh, pig programs that is what he is saying and if you want to evaluate this uh, pig scripts you call it as pig programs or pig scripts so you can do that first by installing the hadoop and then you can run your pig scripts so i'll tell you the reason for uh, yeah, uh, for requiring this kind of big infrastructure or is a letter again i'll repeat hmm? so pig is a technology for analyzing large data sets so that consists of high level language so it means uh, you 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 will see that pig technology is a kind of uh, any other uh, high level language like uh, you can see it's a, it as a query language and in that query language you can write uh, the pig scripts either you can write uh, a query or you can also call it as a script and which is to be run on the a big infrastructure you already know what is the infrastructure that you have that that can run your uh, uh, map redis applications whatever the infrastructure that you need to uh, run your map redis application the same infrastructure i am going to use to run my pig scripts so it means it's a level of abstraction pig is a level of abstraction on the hadoop so if hadoop is not there you cannot run the uh, pig uh, latin scripts or pig scripts right so that is what uh, we are talking about the infrastructure so infrastructure that is required uh, to run your pig script is the hadoop okay so next um, so why why we need to the, uh, this particular hadoop to run your pig scripts is your the your pig scripts that you write is going to be converted into a map reduce and these map reduce um, jobs are going to be executed in the hadoop clusters right so you write your pig script your pig script is going to be converted into a map redis program behind the scenes you are not writing any map redis program but so you you are writing your uh, high level script in the pig that gets converted into a map redis program by the framework and this i mean how many map redis jobs are going to be created that depends on the query that you write so it means uh, two or more at least one uh, map and one redis will be created sometimes based on the query that you write so it may be uh, two or more uh, map redis uh, programs will be created and those map redis programs are to be executed on the hadoop clusters so that is the usual way that you have already uh, seen in the mohan's uh, madan mohan sir class right so next uh, uh, pig is widely accepted and used by the twitter and then yahoo and the netflix lot of companies are there and uh, now uh, the um so the, i'm talking about the year 2008 and 
So now this technology is replaced with the other new technologies, right? So it means those who are using the peak technology earlier, now they have migrated to this park technology, right? Which you will see in the uh, fifth unit of the syllabus, right? First company that invented uh, this peak technology is Yahoo. And uh, so this, this is the first company that used the peak technology very much. Um, so map reduce requires why, what is uh, uh, if I, if I discuss the pig versus map reduce map reduce requires programmers right it means uh, if you want to write the map reduce applications uh, you need the programming hands it means uh, those who are good at uh, either uh, uh, in native language like java or they should know at least uh, python So if uh, if um, uh, if they don't know uh, this uh, particular uh, high level languages, they cannot write the map reduce programs. But still, uh, if you don't know either Java or Python, and if you know only the kind of uh, SQL languages, still you can write your pig uh, Latin programs or pig Latin scripts, right? Uh, that is what the benefit of the pig technology, right? So here you can see. Uh, people used to write uh, some 100 lines of code for a small application and now with the pig you can eliminate all that burden and you can write very few less lines of code like uh, if I tell you that uh, if if I write 100 lines of code in uh, map reduce by using Java I can write only the five lines of code in uh, pig okay that that much flexibility will get if you use the pig technology right and anyways, uh, how this big uh, Latin uh, scripts uh, will be executed uh, in the Hadoop environment, Hadoop infrastructure. As I told earlier, uh, these map, this big uh, script that you write will get converted into a map reduce programs behind the scene. And these map reduce programs are going to be uh, launched on the cluster. Then that those are going to be executed. But it is all seamless to the end user. Our developer doesn't know what is happening behind the scenes. But so the thing is, they will be converted into on our map reduce programs. Next. And uh, if you see, PIG provides a high level language that can be used by analysts and then data scientists and then uh, statisticians and all these people are going to use this PIG technology because um, it's easy uh, for uh, analyzing or analyzing large data sets by using PIG by the data scientists and the statisticians. Okay, Stati uh, statistic people. Uh, they will use this big technology very much. And uh, as I told earlier, so originally implemented at Yahoo to allow the uh, an an analyst to access the data. And you see what are the uh, features offered by the big technology. So you can see uh, if you know the SQL language, uh, you can easily understand uh, by looking at these features, you can understand what pig is going to offer for you, right? So it means. Uh, if you look at uh, the uh, SQL language, in the SQL you have joining data sets feature is there. The same is available here. And then sort feature is there, filtering data sets is there. And then what are the uh, data, data type support is already available here. I mean, um, whatever the data types that you have in the earlier query languages, uh, which I have experienced earlier, the same is also available here. And then group by classes. And if any of the, uh, the functions or features not offered by the pig, um, for your requirement, what you can do is you can create uh, one such by using uh, user defined functions. This is actually the very important feature offered by the PIC technology, which is, for example, in the SQL, if some functionality is not available, you can't do anything. So you have to request a Oracle or somebody else to give that feature. But so here in the PIC, so you have a facility of writing user defined functions, which you can create. Uh, the requirement, your requirements uh, by yourself, by using UDFs, okay? That's why UDFs are the first class citizens here. All right, and then uh, PIG is very uh, good for ETL transformations. It means uh, extract, load, I mean, transform and load operations. So if your requirement is ETL operations, then the best technology for you is what PIG only. No, for example, by this time you understood uh, if you have log data, any log data available, so you can do ETL operations on that by using PIC. Okay, so next. 
and then the mostly the researchers uh, community is also using this uh, particular uh, the pig technology for their um, data analysis uh, and see pig components so pig latin uh, is the language um, which is used to um, uh, right i mean it is used to analyze the data sets pig data pig latin is the tech, uh, is the language uh, for the pig pig framework pig latin is the language for uh, pig framework by using which you can write your uh, queries and then you can analyze it and then pig latin in the pig latin what you can write is you can write uh, the data transformations and then flow expressions it means um, so if you have a large data set uh, from that large data sets i want to do some transformation transformation means uh, that large data sets uh, should be reduced to uh, some lesser size in that case you can use uh, a query transformation so what is going to be result of this query transformation is you will get the le lesser i mean uh, you will get a um, so you will get the lesser data sets based on your requirements I will exactly show you that uh, when you are talking about the use cases. Uh, execution and redundant. So, the, there are two ways of uh, executing this uh, PIG technology. So, one is uh, the PIG, uh, the, so local environment, the other is Hadoop mode. So, in the local environment, so this is only the testing purpose you can use. It means uh, whatever the query um, uh, query that you execute in Pig Latin will not get converted into uh, a map radius jobs. As I told you earlier, so every uh, query, I mean, uh, Pig query uh, will get converted into map radius jobs. But if I use the local mode, uh, this will not be converted into a map radius jobs. Means uh, if you have any small data set and if you want to test it, you can use you can go for the local mode. Otherwise local mode is not suggestible and so the Hadoop mode or map radius mode we can also call it as a map radius mode in the Hadoop mode so whatever the query that you write uh, will get converted into a series of map radius jobs and those map radius jobs are launched over the cluster okay so and then what extra advantage do you get uh, uh, because of uh, the spec technology is uh, pig compile is going to convert your pig latin script that you write into a map radius jobs it's not your part to convert them into map radius jobs okay and then once it's uh, converted into a map radius job before converting into map radius jobs whatever the uh, pig latin code that you write will be optimized optimization will be done on your code by the pig compiler okay that is another extra advantage you are going to get by using this pig technology so see look at uh, the execution modes local mode so local mode, local node means in a single node uh, in a single JVM it is going to uh, execute your uh, your data sets or it's going to process your data sets in a single JVM and it's only the local file system you understand this and if it is a map radius mode or Hadoop mode so uh, in the map radius mode uh, so the anyway the the peri peak query that you write is going to be converted into series of map radius jobs. So I already you know that where map ready jobs are to be executed, right? Where those are to be executed? So those are to be executed in the Hadoop clusters only, right? So and then you can the second mode is preferable for executing the large data sets. So if you can see here, uh, you have written a pig Latin script. So here you can see. So this this uh, this is called the pig Latin script that you are writing, and uh, so this pig Latin script. Uh, uh, the extension is dot pig right so there are two ways uh, i'll show you that also uh, either you can, you can write all your uh, program here pig latin program, pig latin queries here and you can uh, save them with the extension dot pig okay so when you run this pig program uh, pig latin script okay in the execution environment so then uh, it is going to generate a uh, series of map ready chaps okay so for a simple program you will see uh, for example if i have five lines of this code maybe uh, for each line if it generates two maps and two radiuses it's going to total in total it's going to generate uh, it's going to create five uh, ten mappers and ten reducers maybe maybe sometimes it's going to be less also okay 
and these are going to be launched over the cluster, Hadoop cluster, and then so uh, appropriately it is going to show the results in the um, the uh, output of the radio cells. You can go and see that results, or if you want to uh, see them um, on your screen, you can use um, the relevant commands there. So now, uh, before getting into uh, the other parts of this uh, uh, PEG technology, so let's see how can, you can install this PEG. So anyways, uh, you already know, uh, in your missions, uh, you have already installed the Java and then you have already installed the Hadoop, right? Because if you want to work with the PEG technology in the MapReduce mode, you need uh, the working Hadoop, right? So Hadoop must be working in your mission. It means, all the nodes must be appear if I say a JPS. Otherwise, you cannot work with the um, the uh, Hadoop map radius way. Sorry, map radius way of pig, right? So in the other way, if you are so much uh, um, uh, in love with the Windows, you can use Sigwin, but nobody will use the Sigwin uh, in the today's environments. 